Happy October, you guys. If you've been watching us throughout the years, then you know that autumn and winter are by far our favorite seasons as a family. There's just something so slow and um, comforting about these seasons. And as we leave spring and summer behind and we find new rhythms and slower rhythms, um, it, it really just warms my heart. Every October feels like such a gift and I'm so happy uh, that I get to see another October. Now this day in the life starts off very smooth and it's filled with a lot of family time and as the day goes on it gets hectic and you will see that but um, just thank you for being a part of our journey and a part of this day in the life. This day in the life is going to be so slow and so behind. It's already 1030 and we have not started. Um, Justin has work off. So I feel like whenever dads, let me know if it's like this in your household, when the dads are home, homeschool happens so slowly or not at all. So it's gonna happen today, but we're just a little bit behind. We're enjoying his presence and having dad in a slow morning. Um, everybody has made their own breakfast. You guys saw my breakfast. You saw little pieces of their breakfast. I also had to run an errand this morning. So there's tons of reasons why we're just kind of going slow today. But we are ready and I'm gonna take you through what each kid is kind of gonna do today. So Journey has a history quiz, I know. I know, I know, I know. Monarch has a lot of quizzes. It seems like Journey's taking a quiz every time we talk. You can go in and unassign any quiz that you want though, so keep that in mind. She has a history quiz that she's gonna study for today. She'll take tomorrow, and then she has to do math and language, which is great. And then she has science. She has an off day for science. Um, and then Titus has a new spelling week, so he's gonna be doing new spelling words. And then he has language and math. And then I'm gonna take you into the dining room to show you what Teo's day is gonna look like today. Let's go. All right guys, so Teo's going to be utilizing his Knowledge Crate box a lot today. We are gonna do his all about reading lesson, but after we do the lesson of the day, he is going to utilize these um, handwriting pages that came in the fall 2022 crate. So we're gonna be working on letters A through J today with our handwriting. And then I'm going to take a break from Masterbooks Math today, and instead he's going to do the Woodland I Spy sheet that came in the fall box. How cute is this? You have raccoons and bears and mountain lions and pine trees. So cute. And then these are all the books that came in the lower elementary box. Oh my goodness. Oh, this. This is a fun activity that goes with something else for the crate. But today, Teo is gonna get to choose which book he wants me to read to him. And then when he's done, he gets to play with all the, the Play-Doh that came in this box and all of the Play-Doh accessories. Keep in mind that you can use code OGLESBY15 for 15% off the entire Knowledge Crate website, y'all. So that includes the annual and the quarterly subscriptions, but also if you wanna try their mini crates, which are a great place to start, my code now gives you 15% off of those as well. All right, let's get the day started. <laughs>
handwriting. I don't know how to say it. What, the E? You don't know how to do it by yourself? Okay, we'll practice that one. As soon as I'm done, move on to tracing the F, okay? So while Teo does handwriting, um, Journey and Titus is deer time. Oh, there goes our bell. So the deer time just finished. So Journey is going to be practicing some facts with these, and then I'm gonna get Titus started with his spelling. So I'm going to grab her facts for the day and grab his book and walk over to them. All right, so for spelling, every week starts with him just writing his spelling words, and it has three challenge words every week. And so now he's going to be doing the box words, and then I'm going to have him write each word three times on the board. You got your pencil, Titus? And while they do that independent work, I am back in this room with Teo. We are going to open up his All About Reading and then finish with... Um, the Knowledge Crates math, and then he gets some Play-Doh time. I'm going to read this one. And you're going to color letter I, okay? Me too, me too. Okay, okay. Okay, ready? ready? Oh, you and Zebra's coloring? That's great. Damn it. In my <laughs> All right, guys, so Teo is now done. He's going to play with some Play Doh. I told you guys, Play Doh is really good for those hand muscles with handwriting. So he has been doing that. Titus has he finishes spelling very quickly. You want to show him what you made, bud? So he made some pretty cool. I made this, and I have to take one wheel off of it, but Yeah. So Titus has been entertaining himself with his Legos, and that. Now it's time to do school though. You ready? No, yes. I need a little bit of time. Nope, come on. Okay, so for Titus, we are going to be doing his Evan Moore language and his um, math mammoth and then some math in um, the master books like practice book. It's been a morning, the, 
the way I look. Um, the boys are done. They've been arguing, yada, yada, yada. Journey and I sat down and did history for a while. And then um, now she's she took a spelling quiz and now she is doing her math. I'm about to get lunch going. We're gonna have sandwiches. I'm gonna pop some popcorn and we are gonna listen to the audible book of Pax. We're really getting into it. So I'm excited to kind of close out our day with some lunch and read aloud. Now this particular day, Titus was having a hard day. So I allowed him to be my special helper during lunch prepping time. And if you watched our updated schedule for this school year, something that I put in and something that we're doing a really great job kind of following through is really having intentional lunch time, an intentional period where we're pausing and we are eating together and we're, we're just allowing the day to slow down in the middle of the day to not rush through lunch, but to really simply be amongst each other, sharing a meal and enjoying the time. And I just wanna encourage any mamas who are homeschooling multiple children, it's a lot. You are being the needs of multiple people throughout the day. And whenever you have a kid that seems to be having a particularly hard day, just grab that kid aside and allow that kid to be your helper, whether it's your helper in the kitchen or your helper cleaning up. Allow that kid to feel special and loved and held and seen and also to get their mind off of their bad attitude. It really does turn the day around. Uh, this lunch time, this school year, lunch time is my favorite time of the day. It's an intentional pause, an intentional sit down, let's chat and let's be together. And I'm loving it. ending our day with some popcorn and read alouds thank you guys so much for being part of this day in the life thank you so much for your support on our channel click that red subscribe button if you haven't give this video a big thumbs up and we'll be back again with another video soon bye guys